Well, welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. You know, this is interesting. I've got the lower caliper mounting bolt loose. It's free, and now I'm removing this upper one. We'll have to remove this spring clip, and then we'll get this disassembled. But one of the reasons this is interesting to me is I think about brake jobs in years gone by, and it's a pretty passive system. There's not much that's going to jump out and bite you, but it's a whole new day. John said it. It's new rules that apply. So we're going to follow the right procedure because these types of systems are only going to get more complex over time. So let me get this spring out. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull this caliper off and support it up top just like we have. Now there's really nowhere for a bungee cord in here so I'm just going to be gentle coming off. There we go. There's one pad out. Now there's a lot to kink here. You got a wiring harness and the brake line. Don't kink either one of them. I'm going to set this down right here. And hang it. Now let's take a look at this pad. Well, it's tough to really see glazing, but I can sort of feel glazing. And the thickness is okay, but I think this is where the groaning's coming from. So I'm going to get both side pads switched out here on the rear of the vehicle while John shows you exactly what happens when this electronic motor rescinds that piston. Well, it wouldn't be Tech Garage if it wasn't about the hows and the whys. How's it work and why does it work? We're going to talk about the electronic brake caliper here in a minute, but you know, they went and changed all the rules. New rules apply. You can think back here to the actual caliper that had the e-brake built into it right here. We did this a few seasons ago. How do we know that? Well, first of all, if you look, you actually have the little teeth right here. Well, if you look at our new one right here, it doesn't have the teeth. So that tells me right there I can't use the tool to retract it. Now old school, we just got this little tool in here. We've done this before. We put it there. We wound it back. So once we get it back, we can go ahead and replace the pads. Still important because you have a gear drive mechanism system here. Now the new systems here. This is pretty cool because this is the electronic brake. Now you may run into a scenario where you just have to replace the motor or just the caliper. Maybe the motor's working fine. A couple tips for you. You can actually separate this unit right here. And this is pretty cool. I have the bolt off on the other side. And once I separate it, you can see two things I want to show you. First of all, is this O-ring seal. Make sure this O-ring seals on the new motor or is replaced because you don't want any dirt getting into this motor. It's a motor, it's a mechanism. It's gonna cause problems. Also, the teeth right here, you see these teeth? Sometimes you have different gear teeth for different motors. Make sure they mesh when you put it back together. Also, when you're putting it back together, make sure it clicks in there. You can get it into the teeth drive and then you can go ahead and index it back to the bolt put your bolt in and hit the torque specifications. But if you don't do that, you're gonna snap these ears off every time. It's a massively expensive motor. You wanna make sure you take good care of it and be gentle with it. Once again, doing the brake job, same rules. Make sure you lube the slides. Brian's gonna push the caliper back the whole nine yards. But here at Tech Garage, we're all about the hows and why. So this is the coolest thing ever. Check this out. We actually took a caliper. We took it apart and we cut it away. Now this is something you would never want to do, especially with the computer system. I'm going to hook this up to our Optima battery and I'm going to show you it winding back and winding in. Well, what is that all about? Well, you remember I had to retract that. Well, with the computer retracted it, if you watch down in here, what's happening, this little black piston stop is going to move all the way back as I do that. So I'm going to hook it up to the Optima battery. And when I do that, Watch that piston stop wind back. There it goes. So it's winding back, it's winding back, it's winding back. Now I know what you're saying. The piston didn't move. No, it didn't. That's what we were saying. Although it didn't move, we need to move it. So what's going to happen here is now it's okay to go ahead and take the tool and retract the piston. So I can put the tool in here and I can retract the piston right now. You see how easy it's going back? Now, if I didn't retract it, those screw threads, the motor, the winding, the seal, everything is gonna be messed up and we're talking about a massively expensive repair. Now, once it's retracted back, Brian can go ahead and do a normal brake job just like he normally would. He'll get his tool, he'll retract the piston, he'll lube his slides, put his caliper piston back on, the pads, do everything like he normally would. But the key is, once it's all done, I'm gonna have to go inside the car and I'm gonna have to put it in an operational mode. Well, what's going on then? Well, remember, it's retracted all the way. Old school, we used to just pump the pedal, get the brake pads out there. Well, no more. I wanna go ahead and engage that parking brake and get it to work, make sure everything's back in order. Now, watch this. this is just as cool because this time it's in I'm going to reverse the leads and I'm going to put the motor it's a bi-directional motor and go in the other direction and watch the piston so what's happening now 
it's actually running that piston out. That's gonna happen for two reasons. When I put it back in operational mode, we're gonna get the pads out so we don't have any clearance, so just a little bit of clearance between the pads and the rotor. So when you go to stop, you'll have full contact and or if you ever push that e-brake switch, that's how it operates. It pushes it out, it pushes it back in. Now only Tech Garage do you get to see the inside of the pistons, but you know what? We're not gonna go very far with our Pacifica until we check in with Brian and make sure he gets those brakes in tip top shape. Okay, there is our final torque spec on the top caliper mounting bolt. We've already done the lower one, so we've got that all buttoned back up. Now, here's what I want you to see. We talked about retracting that piston to do this job right in service mode. Look how much play we've got in the caliper with the new pads in there. That's good evidence that, that piston is fully retracted back in there. So with this torque back to spec, we just have to add the spring clip back right here. This is a little tricky. Eat your Wheaties in the morning, you got this. There we go, it's seated. Now, I like to use a lug nut right here to keep that rotor true up to the face of the hub assembly, right? So now we've got rotors not moving, got a good mounting on the caliper. Everything is connected, reconnected. So the next step is reconnect the negative battery cable and get John to put this thing back in operation mode so we can take this thing out for a test drive. We've done both sides. Nothing crazy on your test drive here. Nothing crazy to burnish the pads. Standard driving, don't do heavy braking and get the brake fluid boiling or anything like that. Just a regular test drive and let's get these new pads seated and see if we've conquered this groaning problem. Well, Brian's got them in tip top shape. You know, we're ready to take the Pacifica on a family vacation, but the first thing we have to do before we roll is we gotta go ahead and put it back into operation. And it's real simple. It says push the brake and hit the E-brake. Listen, this time it's actually winding the pistons back out so they're in contact. Brian mentioned that home position. Well, here they go. Here's the E-brake switch. And it says parking brake reset, brake service exit complete. So we're ready to go. We X out, crank it up, we're on the road. You know, it's time to bring in the project M&M, the Mercury makeover. Stick around, we got some more cool stuff. More to come with Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com.